שני נפתלי. Naftali, can you hear me? Okay, cool. I guess my message is cut across. All right. It's just you and me right now. I'm waiting for a few more to come on and we'll start. This is a kind of a semi-wild Gemara and kind of when it starts off, you see the language and stuff. It's, I find it really cool. Be right back. Nobody else yet. Oh, wait, I see three. Let's see, who's that? Chaim. Good morning, Chaim. Okay, give another minute or two, we'll start. Good Naftali, you might want to mute yourself, because I don't know how to mute everyone. Thank you. Give it two more minutes. Someone else just came in. What's okay? Yitz, good morning. Just remember to mute yourself. Thank you. I see somebody else here. Just this phone. I don't know who is. Okay. 
Whoever has that 718 number, if you could just mute yourself, that will help and we'll start shortly. Seven one eight, the one that ends eighteen eighteen. I don't know if you're muted or not, but if you can, unless that's the rabbi, I'm not it. Okay, let's get started. Okay, I'm assuming everyone can hear me okay. I'm sorry I couldn't be by the base mattress this morning, or some came up. So this year is coming to you from Hollywood Beach, Florida. Uh, as the rabbi says, uh, thank Hashem that we have the opportunity to learn and uh, the schools of learning. The old people in either with four shlema have their four shlema specifically right now. Uh, my wife, Rafa Faya Baskila, uh, I don't know, she's not feeling well, could use it with four shlema. And uh, uh, we should have the schools and the sheikh come quickly and all that stuff. Morning, Moshe. Hi, good morning. Okay, all right, I'm about to start. Okay, so top of Daf Yud. Second line, Mishnah. Amr, the person says, and this is pretty wild to start. Amr Parazu, he's pointing to his cow in the field. He says, He's imagining, well, we're not sure, but he says, this cow is saying, I'm a nazir if I stand up. So the first one you're saying, what's going on here? Cows don't talk. This isn't Elsie the cow. I, I mean, we've heard about Bilam's uh, donkey talking, and we know that the Nachash talked in the Gan uh, But what's going on here? All of a sudden, another story about a cow talking, and he says, if I stand up, I'm going to be a Nazir. I mean, cows don't become Nazirs. So that's really kind of wild. All right? And, and we'll explain what that really means. Hi, Yonatan. Or second case of the Mishnah, a door, all right? Omer Hadela says that. The guy's looking at a st stuck jam door and he says, this door says, Hareini Nizira, all right? Delas is a uh, female, good morning. Hareini Nizira, if Niftachani, I'm a door if I open. It's like someone saying, I'll be a monkey's uncle if the following things happen. I mean, so this is a wild Gemara to start. We're bringing uh, a, uh, a inanimate object as well as an animal, and we're having them speak. Uh, and what's going on here? So again, we know that there's been cases in the Chumash of uh, animal speaking, like I just mentioned, and even inanimate. When Yona went down to, uh, you know, was hiding in the bottom of that uh, uh, ship, all right, and the storm came. Hashem made a storm. It says, uh, I forget the lotion exactly, but uh, the ship was worried about uh, breaking apart. What, the ship worries? The ship thinks? You know, so maybe this is just lotion. Maybe this is the vernacular. And this is the man thinking and saying, this is what I think. The animal was thinking at this moment. And as most of you know, I usually walk my dog at this time. It doesn't always want to do what I want it to do so I can rush. And I'm saying, what is going on in this dog's mind? Doesn't it know I have to leave? All right. So Beishame Yomrim Nazir. He says in this case of the animal saying, if I don't get up, I'm a Nazir. And the same with the door. The person actually becomes a Nazir. I mean, wow. All right, base. Hilo says, Loamrim Nazir. Oh, he said, Loamrim Ella Baomir, but he said, wait, wait. Beishamayim, Loamrim, wait, he's not a Nazir. Uh, um, okay, he's not a Nazir. Now, Ami Rabbi, Amma Rabbi Yehuda, Yehuda goes to explain, Afkisha Amru Beishamayim, even when Beishamayim said this, Loamrim. Amru ela be Omer, hare parazo alai korban ima medesi. So, uh, Rav uh, 
Yehuda has an extra little twist. He says, when is Bey Shammai saying that they actually, that person becomes a Nazir? He says, when he says, well, this power, this cow will be for me like a sacrifice, okay? Uh, when it stands up. Now, in other words, he's adding an extra lushan to it. Now, what sacrifice are we talking about? The Gemara will discuss because basically uh, when the Nazir would bring their korbans, paras were not part of them in general as part of the Nazir's korban. And the Gemara will later say, but it could bring extra shlamim and stuff, and it could be a, a korban. And so the guy was giving extra information. It's kind of reminiscent of when we started the first stuff. And when the guy says, aha, uh-huh, you know, uh, I'm a nazir, you know, a uh, hey, or whatever that lushum was. And then it, he said, he adds to what he was really thinking. Okay, now we continue. Paramika mishtaya. Does a cow really talk? That's what I just said. Okay, you know, does a beer, you know, okay, you know the rest. This, the cows don't talk. Ami Rabbi Bachama, Hachba Maeskinen. So Rabbi Bachama now explains, what are we really dealing with here in, in, in the Mishnah? I want you to know, Lebensberger sent me a message right now, which when I first learned the Mishnah was the same thought that went in my mind. Do pigs fly, you know? So do cows talk? So you write on course. I'm getting the message, of course. You go, or you think a little bit weird like me. Where's the case? The farmer, he's, he's in the field. He sees the cows lying down in front of him. All right? This cow thinks it can't get up. I mean, look at this. Some, somebody's not muted and making a lot of noise. Jonathan Falk. Please uh, uh, mute yourself. Okay, thank you. All right. Okay, Bisfura Parazu, ain't no mess. The cow thinks it's unable to get up. Harani Nazir Mibsara. I'm hereby saying, he's declaring that I'll be a Nazir from her meat if she stands on her own. All right? So it's like, I'll be a monkey's uncle. You know, if this cow who thinks it's not getting up is going to be a nuzzer, you know what? If it stands up, I'm going to be a nuzzer. It's a little bit twist in it, but again, the guy's using what he thinks, obviously he wants to be a nuzzer, and he's using the story of th- this cow and what he thinks is going on in the cow's mind. Hochul <laughs> Beishamei and Beishamai follows their opinion like they did yesterday, we learned. Beishilo Lashitasan. And Beishilo also follows their opinion. All right. Beishamai said that he would be a Nazar. Beishilo says he wouldn't be a Nazar. Beishamai uh, uh, Be said yesterday when we learned with Rabbi Smith, Mina Grogros, Mina Dvela, that if someone says, I'm a Nazir from dried figs and pressed figs, which obviously you're not a Nazir from figs, figs have nothing to do with Nazaris, they still said, guess what? Even though this is a left field comment, he's still a Nazir. So, so too here, Achanami, so too. He's saying here, Kiyama Vidisara, when the person added, I'm a Nazar from this cow's meat, all right, which uh, we said above was added in his thoughts, all right, he verbalized that he is a Nazar. All right, hold your questions, because by the way, the Gemara will answer all these kind of questions that are going on in your mind if you have it. Well, Veis Hillel, Omer, Amrim, Veis Hillel says, nope, he's not a Nazar. That was the case then. So, first, let you come into your mind. I learned yesterday, we learned yesterday, Rabbi Smith, you know, this weird case of figs, all right? And in that case, Beishamai says he is a Nazir, even though the Lushan is so in left field. And uh, and Beis Hillel said he's not. What do I need this case for, especially such a weird case about a cow talking, all right? The Ha'am, Ruah, Beishamai, Chadazimah. Beishamai could have just said it once, yesterday. And I would not have had to give the shit today, right? I'm a rubber. Rubber says, Tate plus. You know what? It's necessary to give two or three cases. 
And as Rabbi always, Rabbi Smith always reminds us that in Aramaic, the tuft is switched with the shin. So tlus is the same as shalash. That's three. And Taite reminds me of Trey Zuze, the Zabinaba de Trey Zuze, two Zuzim uh, on, uh, on, you know, Pesach. So I'm assuming that's how two comes about. So again, we're going to learn why you really need three cases. And every time the Gemara ever brings something like this, that you can learn from one, but three cases are needed, it's usually that if I learned this, I wouldn't have thought those. And if I learned those, I wouldn't have thought this. And we'll now explain. The Chain Tani Rabbi, Chia Tarte Klas, Rabbi Chia also said uh, two or three cases, sometimes were necessary. The Chain Amar Rabbi Oshia Tarte Klas. So again, this wasn't uh, a one happenstance. Utrichi. So these three examples, again, the three examples being the first one from yesterday, the figs example, all right? This is a fig. The second one, the cow that says, I ain't getting up. And the third one, the door that slammed shut, who says, if I open, I'll be a nazar. Again, what, what do we learn from one, but we wouldn't have learned from the other? The e itmar baha grogos de udvela, if we had only learned uh, the, the original case of dried figs, Hasam Huda Amri Bey Shamay Havi Nazir. I might have thought only in that case, Bey Shamay says he's a Nazir. Mishum de Michlati de Michalfan Banadim. Because you know what? It's not so hard to get figs and grapes mixed up. I mean, they're both kind of fruits, you know. We both, we say, uh, uh, Mayen Shalosh, you know, uh, the, uh, it's not a shahako. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's easy to get confused. There's one uh, on the forest that says so you can even get intoxicated from uh, uh, figs. So again, they're close. But no one would ever confuse meat and grapes, two totally different things. So I might have said that Beishamai doesn't hold its opinion there. Therefore, the Mishnah has to give us that case from the cow's meat to teach us that Beishamai would hold that as well. And then what would they hold? That the guy's a Nazir. The Chi Itamar Bas, we're now about uh, two thirds of the way down, Dafalov. On the other hand, if it only gave the second case of the talking cow, and where the guy says, uh, uh, you know, and Basically, I'll, I'll make a korban out of its meat. I might have thought that only in this type of case, Beishamai rules him in Nazir. In meat and wine. Because you know what? Meat and wine go together. Let's face it, a lot of people, when they order meat in a restaurant, they order wine. And it has to be this wine, not that wine, this year, not that year. You know, they want to pay all this extra money. I don't want a glass, I want a bottle. You know, so uh, uh, I, I sound like Jackie Mason. <laughs> All right. Uh, but uh, even when we say uh, in, uh, uh, you know, I mean, I mean, this is not something unusual that we put meat and wine together. So if that was the only case, we would have said, yeah, meat and wine, this case of a talking cow, I would make the guy according to Beishamai and Nazir. But in the case of figs, you know, figs, what do figs have to do with wine? He wouldn't have made it a Nazir. So you see, you need at least those two cases, Kamash Milan, all right, that you need two. The Chiyat Mahane Tate, and if you had only stated, okay, Lebensburg wants to go and meet rest. Don't send me messages. It messes up my whole screen. Uh, but uh, if someone wants to take Lebensburg out, I think he wants a meat burger or something like that. All right. And if it had just said these two cases, the Kamri Bey Shamai, I might have thought these two cases, Bey Shamai would have said he's another, but when it comes to a door, Come on, a door? 
A door is an inanimate object. I mean, don't don't tell me this is talking about the band, the doors. This is Alabama song. He's on his way to the next whiskey bar. No, no, no. This is a door, a piece of oats. It's wood. It's stuck. It, it, it's you know, and we would not aim a model race hollow in this case because doors have nothing to do with grapes and wine. So I might have said that perhaps uh, uh, I might have, would have said that they uh, would agree with base Hillo, meaning they Shammai would have finally agreed with base Hillo in the case of a door that is not a Nazir, all right? But how come on base Hillo? Yitzi, take down a picture of me because it's confusing me what box I'm looking at on my phone. I, think, I can't even concentrate teaching this shit. I'm going to have to kick a student out and send them to the dean's office. Behave. All right. I'm going to take my phone. I'm going to call your wife and tell her that you need to behave in this class. Okay. The e and if the mission taught only the case of a door, the Harkam or Base Hillo, I might have argued that only in this case does Base Hillo say that the, the declaration of the door is ineffective. Remember, Base Hillo is the one who always says, no, they're not another. And he would have said, you know why? Because it's it's a door, and the door is not going to be confused with Naziris. I could have understood maybe grapes would be, I could have understood the, the basra, but not a door. But in those two cases, but the other two cases, Beis Hillel would, would have agreed with Beis Shammai that he's a Nazar. Kamash Milan, so the the Gemara informs us, no, even on this case of the door, Beis Hilla will hold its ground. So what we learned by having three cases is Beis Shammai says, no matter how wild it is, no matter how unrelated, the person is still a Nazar because he wanted to be a Nazar because he, he was verbalizing he wanted to be a Nazar, even though he's associating it with, with something kind of different. All right. And Beis Hilla says, no. All right, he's not a Nazir. Now, initially, when when I read this, I said, "Wait a minute, we we tend to always hold by base Hillo, and base Hillo is usually the 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 easier one. Base Shama is the the harder, you know, the Gvura uh, uh, line." So I said, "Why is base Shama allowing things?" Beishamai should be the harder one. And then I realized, wait a minute, what is he allowing? He's allowing him to be a Nazir, all right? We previously said, you know, Nazir is not necessarily, you know, uh, the best way to uh, reach higher levels, you know, maybe for some people. But uh, anyway, thought that came in my mind. Right, continuing. I'm a rubber. Rubber said, Mi katani imamda me'aleha. Does the Mishnah state that if she gets up on her own, all right, now we're going to kind of question exactly uh, if the cow gets up unassisted or assisted, because, you know, what did the guy really mean, the farmer in his mind, the farmer in the dell over there? Ella Amma Rabba Rabba says, Kigun Shahaisa Para Ravucha Again, you're imagining the case. The farmer's out in the field. He looks and he sees the cow. It just doesn't want to move. He tries to talk. It's not going. And he said, it's incumbent upon me to bring another sacrifice if the cow gets up. All right? He's just saying, if the cow gets up. All right? So he, his assumption is that so imagine so much more. It's not that if she gets up on her own, on her own, she becomes rather thinking she won't be able to get up. In other words, he, I think he doesn't get into the 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 initial interpretation is he doesn't get into the specifics of how the cow gets up. It's if it gets up, all right. In Tamad, Harini Nazir. More questions, Rav explanation. This explanation is understandable concerning a cow that it's eligible for sacrifice. All right, let's give you the cow. The cow, all right, we say we buy that. But now the, the delis, the, the door, I mean, 
How can you now think that a door is eligible for a sacrifice? Oh, you're going to say, well, I chop up the wood of the door and then I'll use it for fun. No, it doesn't work that way. All right. So Rubber proposes a different explanation. Elama Rubber, he gun shy is a paro refutsu lefanov. Again, starts off the same way. We're now at the top of Daf Bays. So Yud Ahmed Bays. All right. So the cow's lying in the field. Vama Harani Nazir. And he says, uh, I will be a Nazir from wine, a true Nazir, if she doesn't get up. All right. If she doesn't get up. So the first two times we said this, we said, if she gets up, I'll be a Nazir. The second was, if she gets up, then I'll, I'll bring her as a Korban, an additional Korban that uh, like Shlomim, when the Nazir is all done, he brings uh, Korbanas, all right? And now we're saying, if he doesn't get up, or if she, the cow, doesn't get up, I will bring, I will become a Nazir from wine. Yitzi, what are you doing? You're bouncing around your screen. You're making me dizzy here. All right. Okay. Okay. Harani Nazir Miyayin in Lo Amda. All right. The Amda Mila, and she stood up on her own. All right. She stood up on her own. Uh, so it means without him having to assist her. So now Rub explains this, the dispute of Beis Shammai and Beis Hilo. Gets a little confusing here, but bear with me. Beis Shammai Sabri, Beis Shammai says, Torp, Torpe the high gavra, the essence of this man's declaration, Mishum Ukma Bidehu, relates to raising the cow with its own hands. All right? Uh, excuse me, just, just one second. Excuse me. I can hear this on the shear. I can't make it lower. They can hear it on the shear, the music. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, just want to cut down any background noise. All right. So it relates to raising the cow with his own, own hands. And he did not raise her himself. All right, because she got up on her own, therefore he's a Nazir. All right, because that's what he said. If she, wait, if she if she doesn't get up, no. I'm, I always get confused. I went over this like five times. I always get confused, but he causes a little switch in the verbiage here. Basilo Sabre. Uh, Basila will hold Mishum to the Raviyahu. Basila says the whole thing relates to the fact that the cow is lying down. And since it got up, it now stood up, according to Basila, it's not a Nazar. In other words, one of them is looking at the fact that the cow is lying down. And then whatever it does gets up, doesn't get up, this, that, etc. Uh, is kind of, wait, one of them will say that's the determining factor, and the other one says that's that's not the determining factor. It Again, it, it like, it depends on the subject or the object of, of what you're looking at in the last case. I don't want to go over it. Please go over it on your own, because every time I do it, I confuse myself more. Or if we're finished, we can go over this last, last uh explanation of the difference between Beis Shammai and Beis Hillel regarding the, when the cow says, I'm not getting up, but gets up on its own, as opposed to the man picking it up. But I'm sorry, at the moment, I just don't want to confuse you. Ema Sefer, consider the end of the Mishnah. Amar Rabbi Yehuda, Av Kishamras Beis Shammai, even when Beis Shammai says, Lo Amar Ela Ba'omer, he says, we only say, Harei Hain Parazu Alai Korban, only this cow is to me like a sacrifice if she stands up. However, as Rubber claims, the person made a regular declaration of Naziris from wine. So how can Rabbi Yehud explain that the person meant to prohibit the cow? Has the cow been invested in any legal status? 
Elakigandamar, rather the cases that he said this in effect. So this is where he's going to explain. I'm a nazar from her meat if she does not stand up. The amda may love. And she stood up on her own. That was the case. Beishamay sabre. All right, now it's going to the essence. Because Beishamay sabre torpedo gavra. The essence of the man's declaration, Mishim Ukma Bidehu, relates to raising the cow with his own hands. So since he didn't raise the cow with his own hands, according to Beishamai, he still made a vow to be a nazar from the cow's meat. And because he made the uh, declared the Naziris from the cow's meat, he is a nazir. All right, even though it didn't work out exactly the way he wanted. Base Hilo Sabre, I think now it makes sense. Torpe the High Gabra, the essence of the declaration, Mishim de Revere, relates to the fact that the cow's lying down, the comp, and now it stood up. According, accordingly, the vow does not take effect and the person is not another. Okay, so I went over it again. Now it makes sense. Okay, hopefully. Base Hilo Sabre, Elo Kamis, have a nazir. Basilo says that if the cow didn't stand up, all right, the ha'amre, that he's not a nazir. Uh, wait, wait. It, it does base, we're asking a question. Does base Hilo hold that if the cow does not stand up, the person is a nazir? The ha'amru, mibsarilo, have a nazir. But they, base Hilo said that if a person declares, I am hereby a Nazir from its meat. He's not a Nazir. The Kamara answers, Taimo de Bey Shammai Kamri. So here's what's going on, which is why confusing. Bey Hilo are arguing according to Bey Shammai's view. All right, this is really weird. Bey Hilo kind of went into the mind of Bey Shammai. Bey Hilo says, according to us, even if the cow does get up, he's not a nazir. The didchuda marisa have a nazir, but according to you, Beishame, who says that if a person declares, I'm hereby a nazir for meat, he is a nazir. All right, we'll concede to at least, we're asking you to concede to us at least that in this case, he should not be a Nazir. So when Beis Hillel's arguing here, they're, they're, it's not that they're, they've already made the case. Now they're going into Beis Shammai's mind and saying, no, Beis Shammai, come on, get real. All right, concede to us here that talk Beta Hadin Gavra Mishim because the essence of this man's declaration relates to the fact that the animal was lying down. Bahakamas, and now it stood up. So, because again, base Hillel's looking at the situation. Since the situation didn't happen the way it was thought it was supposed to happen, therefore he's not a Nazir. But Beishamai, love, no. Torfe, the high government should look maybe they, but because the S, according to Beishamai, the essence of this man's declaration relates to his standing the cow up with his own hands, and he didn't, uh, and he did not stand it up himself, he becomes a Nazir. Okay, as, as you see, the end of Daf Bays, it, it, they kind of play with, with this terminology, did it stand, not stand up, was, why is Beis Hilo hold one way, why is Beis Shammai hold another way, Base Hillo gives an answer. Uh, 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 listen, Base Shammai, uh, why don't you just give me, you know, something that you know I am right that you would agree on this? That the bottom line is they're looking at that subject different. Base Hillo's looking at whether it got up or down, and Base Shammai says, "I don't care. It, it was a nazi. He's a nazi by figs. He's a nazi by a door." And guess what? He is a nuzzer by this cow because that's what he wanted. Whether or not they got up or down is totally irrelevant. What he meant, this and that. He was trying to, what, as he really knew what the cow was going to say. Not really. He was making it up anyway. 
So it's totally irrelevant. The bottom line is he wanted to become a Nazir. So we finished uh, Ahmed Aleph, Ahmed Bey's. I think the first side that was much clearer. The second side I'm not sure about. I see Jimmy just joined. <laughs> we just finished. So Jimmy, you have to watch it on uh, uh, on YouTube later on. If if you want, uh, so it's we finish early six oh three. Any comments or questions? Right, Rennie. Yeah, this was a challenging talk. Thank you for preparing. Yeah, it was interesting, that's for sure. Yeah. You did a great job. I'm going to rate you on uh, on on um, whatever that app is. Uh, <laughs> we don't have the map. Oh, right, uh, Rennie. Well done. And, and, really appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Thanks. As I say, you know what? There's a lot of, uh, if you go into all that, there's a lot of different uh, uh, commentaries, you know, guys that are doing this. And uh, again, I, lis I listen to all of them, to be honest with you. And in the first half, it was smooth sailing, no matter who you listen to. When you got to this last end, it gets a little confusing. And uh, I, nobody really totally clarified it with me. So I hope I Dr. left Stein, you. Next, next time things. you next time you have to pull one of these things, you could just invite us all to the beach house. We you know we don't have to do Zoom. <laughs> all right. Thank you. Okay. Good morning. Have a wonderful thank you. Have a good day. Okay. Bye bye. Yes, Carl, thank you. Dr. Stein, are you going to upload yeah. the the class? The rabbi will do it later on this morning. Okay. Yeah, my, my alarm didn't get out. Didn't, no, no, didn't. no problem. Don't, don't worry about it. Uh, Rabbi uh, Smith will do that a little bit later. All right. Have a good day, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day.